So the other night, I was rummaging down the back of the sofa and I found this Bentley Continental R. I thought, what better excuse than to have car chaps look around it? <laughs> you start talking before I, I was sort of walking to the frame and go, that's nice. <laughs> Blimey, that's all right. That's nice. Let's get this from. The other night I was rummaging down the back of your mum. Sorry. <laughs> that's all right. Tell me something about it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was rummaging down the back of the sofa the other night. Found this Bentley Continental R. Oh, wonderful. Well, why don't you tell me something about it? Oh, I just dropped the key. I have to say, I haven't seen this like in the sunlight. Yeah. It's way more imposing than I thought it was. It's got a lot of presence. You know, it took me some time to warm up to the shape, but I think it's quite cool now. It's way better than a new Continental, actually. Because it's way bigger. Like, when you see these in pictures, they look quite small compared to the new ones because mm. the, um, the haunches are a lot narrower. But in that colour as well, do you know what the colour is? Oh, it's some weird yeah. uh, flower name, yeah, green. Yeah. You've got these massive tyres yeah. with tiny alloys, which I think it's not my favourite part about the car. Well, you want to kind of mod it, don't you? I, I, I just think you're... In favour of committing sacrilege. Yeah. I think some wheel spaces would be great. But I wouldn't change the alloys because the ride quality is good. Oh, yeah. It's a small thing. I know, again, like we always Oops. talk about random stuff like this, but that's what makes this car. It's like every time you get in at the touch points, that's really thin. Yeah. This is really anal car stuff now. <laughs> and that just feels fantastic. It's heavy. You wouldn't get that in a new one. Everything feels purposeful. Ooh. That carpet, that is full on. Nine, I know it's 1980s, this, isn't it? 1980s? Yeah. A 1993. This but that car is, is from. straight back to 70s. It's proper so show, isn't it? <laughs> wow. Oh God, this is a Continental, literally, cruiser. Wow. I think that is its perfect role, just cruising down the continent. Oh, God, this is so good. So nice. Again, like I've watched a few videos like Bentley 8s and things, and you think, oh, that's nice, whatever. But in real life, when you actually sit in it. Very opulent. Very opulent. And it's difficult to describe why this feels different from a new one. I think a new one, like modern cars all kind of feel the same. Like, you know, in a Continental underneath is kind of an Audi. Whereas this just feels actually like it's been put together. Oh, that's actually an oak tree they've just chopped down yeah. and put in it. And they've just cut down a bunch of sheep. And they don't really care about the environment. <laughs> like, it just weighs about five tons. You've got two door handles. That's when you know you've got a good car. Really? Yeah, look. Hey, what? Why have you got two? Is that from the back seats? I guess. Yeah. Back seat, or if you just fancy a change to your day. <laughs> yeah, really spice up your day. <laughs> well, if we carry on going round, yeah. there's something you'll be visiting a lot when you're using this car. It opens. No. Uh, it's another classic old car thing. You've got to do it from the front. You've got your classic pop-up aerial. Mm, I love that. Oh my God, every single time. Please forgive me because it's very messy in here, but just to show you another great part of this car. How <laughs> so many much green in there, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> how many bodies could you fit in there? A lot. At least, At least three. Four. Or maybe four. This is full-on cray spec, this car. Like a wist. You've got a sheep in the back of your car. Though. I think there is a crazy amount of sheep they're going to make in one of these. Yeah, I remember. Whole flock. This is why uh, sheep are less valuable now. Really? Yeah, because they use less sheep in Bentleys. That is lovely, look at that. Flick up the Bentley badge, like that. Wow, this is ductively. Underneath, it's a sheath. Yeah. Moving on. The location the of the brake light. In scones, someone Yeah, it's not just whacked on there with haphazardly. No, no, no. This car is, nothing it's about this purpose. car is haphazard. If you take a seat, in the driver's seat, oh. and we can have a look at the interior. Please, I want to see your interior. The interior of this car reminds me of an aeroplane. I feel like yeah. this could be a 747 100 series. We've got all these dials up here. Yeah. <laughs> there's so many. And there's quite a few cool features, so, um, if you see, can you see your fuel level? Yeah. If you click, there's a button down there with an oil drop. It go up, oh, it, left. No, it, oh yeah, yeah. Hold that down, and then it shows you your oil level. Well, if I keep holding it down. Yeah. So it's gone all the way to the top to yeah. show you're full of oil. Then let go. Now it shows oh. you your fuel level. 
That's very clever. I like that. And another cool thing. So listen to the horn. Yeah. Now press the horn button there. I love that. That is so very you cool. have polite horn. Yeah. I'm actually angry, and I might be a murderer horn. Way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Little vents here. This is fantastic. It's so 80s, 90s. I feel like I'm inside John Travolta. <laughs> Hope not. <laughs> not now. <laughs> He's gone bald and the head's huge. You've got these little. Yeah, what I are don't know these? what you call them. These are the vents. Yeah, yeah, they control whether you've got airflow or not, but they just they feel elegant. They do feel elegant. It feels like you're actually holding a cigar. What's that noise? I mean, this was around in the time of the IRA, so it might be. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does sound like it's a bomb. <laughs> what? What's that ticking noise? <laughs> oh, you written What's a mysterious will? ticking noise. <laughs> Greatest thing about this car. Yeah, is that the handbrake down there? Foot handbrake. Yeah, I love a foot handbrake. What's the uh, Hyundai car that everyone has as an Uber? Oh, the I Ionic. The Ionic Five. No, the one before oh, that. The, the four, first Ionic. That yeah, had yeah. a foot brake. Yeah. So you, you know, Things greatness follows greatness. Yeah, doesn't it? Just <laughs> such a thin rim here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know what? I'm like the rim. I yeah. love. I was talking about my rim and the Porsche the other day. Yeah. But yeah, the best thing, the engine. Yeah. So foot on the brake. Is it in front, park? Yeah, foot on the brake. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. Beautiful. Feels like silk. Brake level mineral oil. Oh, it just says that when it's coming on, it'll disappear. Um, six and three quarter litre V8, turbocharged. Yeah. For the size of the engine, not the most power, but how, I mean- How much power has it got? I think it's like just under, just over 300. So. Oh, it's one of those old V8s where yeah. they managed to get as little amount of power yeah. as they possibly can from six Someone litres. Someone making that engine was American. Yeah. <laughs> the best thing about it is, just like my Empire video, it's got boatloads of torque. Boatloads? <laughs> well, I saw you trying to park it. <laughs> Sounds great. Rocks the boat. It does rock the boat. It I does love feel this. a bit like a ship. I genuinely love this. I never really got the whole old Bentley thing. I always used to think it was a bit Gin Palace. Mm. Slightly overtoned seediness, but actually this is fantastic. I could happily Classy drive down to Italy in this. This is a perfect drive to Italy car. I really want one. I really want one now. I don't know how to do Should it. Should we take a look at the engine? Yeah, let's do it. I'm really excited about this. Let's do that and then we can end it. <laughs> I just want to find how out much how much power it's got. Jesus. It doesn't have boat loads. I can feel the zoom just <laughs> entering my skull. Who's got boat loads? Have you got boat loads? I've got boat loads of tall. 355. Tell me about this. Well, there you have it. It's a big engine. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Six and three quarter litres. Six and three quarter, 355 horsepower. You have to forgive me, I don't really know what I'm talking about when it comes to Bentleys. If you ask me about a f***ing BMW, I'd be like, yeah, sure. Story of Here's life. every little spec <laughs> that you need to know. But, but it does look, it's funny, it's only, what, 30 years old? Yeah. But it looks like an old engine. Like, that looks like it's been yeah. taken off a blower Bentley. <laughs> yeah. Probably the same engine, yeah. actually, knowing Bentley. I mean, it is that same design that hasn't really changed. No. For, when was the last car that they used it on? What, that engine? Yeah. Probably one of these, the Arnage, later Arnage. Probably the Arnage, yeah. Mm. But yeah, turbo. That is lovely. Beautiful sound. I just love how smooth it is. You basically don't need any other car if you're someone who's driving to Europe. This is it, isn't it? Maybe for sale, it depends. I don't want to sell it. Oh, you're a great salesman. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Brewer over here. <laughs> Hold out your hand. We sound insecure and desperate. It's <laughs> because we are. Please subscribe to our channel. Well, there you go. The Bentley Continental R with boatloads of torque and 355 horsepower. This is possibly the worst review we're ever going to watch <laughs> of this car. We can't even drive it. We just found it down the back of the sofa. Yeah. We can't drive it because we're too young, too naive, and too desperate. But it is gorgeous. This green is so deep, I just can't stop looking at it in the sunlight. Oxa green metallic. Eat your heart out. <laughs> Eat your heart out. Actually, is this, this is a proper green? Technically, this is green over tan isn't it yeah this is the spec yeah if you're on instagram this is this cool is the spec this has got some street and it was hand built unlike your dingle thing rubbish <laughs> dingleberry <laughs> rubbish i'm joking obviously oh, maybe <laughs> <laughs>